Today NASCAR is back in Kansas City for the Hollywood Casino 400, the fifth race in the chase for the NASCAR Sprint Cup. This is Rick Allen with NBC Sports, and today 40 drivers will do battle on this 15-year-old one-and-a-half-mile trial but only 12 of them have a shot at winning the Sprint Cup. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to NASCAR Evolution Career Mode. Today is the Hollywood Casino 400 from Kansas Speedway. It is round two of the round of 12 here in the chase for the championship. Leia Walker was already eliminated uh, from the round of 16. And now she's going to run again here at Kansas the second time this season. And hopefully a better finish will result for the 28. And uh, she's gaining ground right now off to a good start. You saw Kyle Busch end the streak of Kevin Harvick's consecutive wins um, in the chase. Too bad I can't show you the chase standings because it doesn't show it to you at the end of each race uh, when you're eliminated from the chase. They just show you where you stand in the points, which is weird. I don't know why they didn't show you the chase standings, but I guess they wanted to show you the standings you are in right now. So I just don't get that. Anyway, you're already eliminated, so why? what's the point? What's the point of showing the um, point standings if you can't show who's leading in the championship? So that that sucks, but we will get to uh, who is uh, in and who is out into the round of 12 someday, uh, into the round of 8, I should say. But now she's running 17th. Not a bad day for her so far, but still very early. Casey Kane 16th, Kyle Larson's running 15th, and uh, not sure who's running 14th right now, but it's really hard to tell who's running where. But she's doing pretty good, and uh, no competitors in the back so far. Now she'll have to be perfect on these corners to uh, make an impact here today. We'll see if she could do that. Running 17th right now is doing pretty good, and uh, still trying to hang on tight to her car but still could make an impact as the race goes on. And uh, now she's gaining ground. She's gonna try to gain up on the other cars. 16th place, uh, she's now in. Leia Walker is still trying to work her way up to the front, trying to gain up on Casey Kane for a top 16 finish. She's doing pretty well so far. She was eliminated early on, so now she has the fire in her eyes just to uh, succeed again. And uh, 15 laps to go. Casey Kane, 16th right now. That's what Leia is trying to get. The field separated already, which is uh, pretty realistic here at Kansas. Uh, I wouldn't say the same for the other super speedway tracks. I mentioned them earlier. So check out my last videos if you uh, want to know what I'm talking about. But now Casey Mears looks like he's gained up on us. And things are not going to look too good for our team right now. <laughs> Anyway, we've had a little bit of a rivalry going on between um, Leia Walker and Casey Mears lately, so hopefully that dies down at the end of the season, but from the looks of it, it's probably not going to die down. Here we go. Leia Walker took a good turn, and now Brad Keselowski is getting passed. And oh, uh, Mears trying to gain ground there, trying to force a 3 wide battle there. But Leia Walker was smart enough to protect the line. Here she comes again. Now 16th. Kane's 15th. And now Mears is going to catch up to Leia. Going to make a pass. And he does. Mears 16th. Leia Walker 17th right now. Oh boy. Going to get real tight right now. Going to get very, very tight. And now the 17th spot goes to Leia Walker. Mears goes 16th and Casey Kane goes to 15th. Leia Walker uh, did a good run on there. So she's done pretty well staying on the bottom line and uh, not messing up going on that hot going um, up in the wall. I got to praise Kansas for its improved um, pavement, which makes it easier to run and makes racing more competitive. Last time it was a pretty good race um, earlier in the night race at Kansas we did um, very early in the season. Now it's the day race at this track and it's a chase race more importantly. So I wonder who which chaser is going to punch his or her ticket to the next round after this race. But only, we can only find out after the end. 
apparently. And again, I can't share the points, obviously, because they don't show you the points at the end of each race and the chase when you're eliminated, so that sucks. But ultimately, though, um, it's worth the wait because it adds a little bit of suspense to each and every race. So Leia Walker has just done nothing, but she's just trying to stay in her position. And uh, now she's just looking at the fuel gauge. You saw that uh, she sped on the last um, pit stop at Charlotte. She got a penalty, and it really cost her some pit positions. She still was able to get a top 20 finish, but still could have been a little bit more if she didn't speed onto the pit, on pit road. So still could have been a better day if she hadn't sped on pit road. She has learned her lesson and going to try to take it easy on entering the pits uh, when the time comes. Yeah, this race is just mostly boring. I apologize, but this is NASCAR Evolution for you guys. And sometimes you're just going to go through, have to go through boring, boring laps. No action so far, possibly on the bottom in a, a lap or two, but other than that, there just hasn't been a lot of action here at Kansas, and I understand um, some drivers, some fans, some of you guys don't really like NASCAR right now because it's boring now. But it's, it's gone fun occasionally, so you, you never know when it gets fun. Oh, now Eric Amarola trying to take out Leia. That's the fun part there I was talking about. Brad Keselowski looks to be getting her his position back. Here he comes. Here comes Amarola. Here he comes again. Amarola goes by. Amarola goes by 17th. And now 18th is Leia with eight laps to go. Let's see if she'll get back her position. And caution comes out. Yellow flag is out. She's going to have to go to pit road. And uh, there goes the green flag uh, chance. She is going to have to come down pit road under caution and going to make adjustments to the tape. So now she's pitting, and it's, this changes everything, obvious, obviously. And she was running 17th. I wonder where she'll be um, restarting at this point after the yellow flag. 38th. Yeah, not good. Ryan Newman, by the way, I think was the one that brought out the caution. He's running in 40th. Green flag. Three wide to start off. Almendinger goes on the bottom with five laps to go. Now Paul Menard trying to gain up. Here comes Leia. Trying to get a good position right here. In the top 35 right now. Trying to work her, work her way up to the front. And Matt Kenseth had another bad race running 35th. Yeah, not so good. Regan Smith gets past top 30 right now now going on the bottom here comes the 20 they're going four wide again wow is this Kansas or Talladega now here she comes again good position gaining good jump she is sticking on the sticking with the apron and I know that's not how you want to pass a driver but you gotta do what you gotta do now Kevin Harvick's stuck in the middle. For sure, he's not going to win today's race. 20 first. Oh, a little smoke there. Eric Jones got a little smoke. But he's able to get through unscathed. Three laps to go. Here we go on the bottom. Oh, boy. Smoke. Now the 83 is going to go by. Austin Dillon, Carl Edwards. Edwards gaining ground. He's just pulled away now. Let's see if Leia can get to Tony Stewart. Stuck in the middle. Little three wide situation. Able to get through to Benedetto. Able to get through Tony Stewart. What a move. What a way to go out in front. Two laps to go here at Kansas. 16th. Oh boy. She, could she get in the top 10? Nice job, 12th place now. Great run for Leia, and she has just done phenomenal on the restart. That restart has really benefited her. Now she's running 12th right now with two to go. Let's see if she can get in the top 10. McDowell's 11th, Reagan is 10th. She might get McDowell, and she will. She'll get McDowell. 
White flag comes out for Leia. Last lap. And they're three wide again. Clint Boyer, 10th. Here they come. Now she's gained two positions, now, now ninth. Great run for Leia. David Reagan's gained up to a good top 10 finish, which is impressive. And also Castle's also in the top 10. Just as impressive as well. Final turn. Ninth place for Leia so far. Can she hang on? Blaney's gonna go by. And she will definitely get a top 10 finish. And Leia Walker finishes in the 10th place. Great race for Leia Walker. Really needed a top 10 finish. Nice job. Almost at 15,000 fans. Nice. 10th place for, Ka for Leia Walker here at Kansas. And who won the race? Michael Annett. What are the odds of Michael Annett getting a win? I'm stunned. I'm shocked. I thought Casey Mears was the surprise winner of the season, but turns out Michael Annett just overtook him. And he beat out Ricky Stenhouse Jr. for that win. Wow. Michael Annett has won a race. And there's proof. I'm stunned. Wow. Wow, miracle of Kansas as Michael Annett becomes a winner. Wow. I have no words, really. No words on that result. But Leia Walker, good top 10. She finished in 10th. That was, wasn't was a bad race at all. But Michael Annett getting a win, I would have never have seen that coming. But anyway, that's it here from Kansas, and we will see you guys at our next race at Talladega Super Speedway. We'll see you at Dega.